made it far away from the police station. And it was all thanks to that spell of releasing spirits from the spirit realm from that stupid doll's voodoo magic book. Now then, now that I'm far away, I can use this spell right here to bring someone back from the dead. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Ua, Dua, Dambua, Reme, Simiento. Oh, I think it's working. Oh. Yes, yes, it's working. Yes, come, come to me. Rise from the dead. What happened? What happened to me? Where am I small? What the? What? Dude. Uh. Oh, uh, what the hell? Wait. Donnie. What the hell did you do to me? Why am I small? Why am I like an, an infant? Did, but I should. Uh, oh, shit. I, sh I, I, sh I fucked this up real bad, didn't I? Oh, uh, you think? How the hell did this happen? How did you fuck up the spell? <sighs> I guess that rebirth spell doesn't just rebirth someone from the dead, but also brings them back from the dead in a body of an infant form. God, I should have paid attention to that spell. What the hell was I expecting? Oh my god. Great. I'm an infant, and I'm useless. I don't even think I'm strong anymore. Uh, well, we'll worry about that later. For now... I call ourselves uh, an Uber. Are you sure that is a smart idea? Don't you think people will recognize you? Yeah, I highly doubt a lot of people watch the news. No, come on, let's go. Alright, in you go. Good stop shoving me. Alright, where to? East Mountainside, please. So, Naste, huh? It's been a nice week, don't you think? Yeah, it's a real nice day. Now shut up. Oh, cool. You have a talking monkey. That's interesting. Uh, is he like a real monkey, or is he one of those AI dolls that some kids are talking about these days? Hey, Johnny Cabby! Eyes on the fucking road! <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Mouth is zipped, and uh, the rest of the drive will be nice and quiet. All right, all right. <sighs> Uber drivers, what a fucking joke. Whatever, tell me about it. So tell me, why exactly did you bring me out of the spirit realm along with a bunch of others? <sighs> well, you see, well... You died and spent your time in purgatory, or some shit. Now, me, my niece, and someone that was forced into killing, tried to kill uh, my nephew and his friends, but my niece died and the person that I forced into killing. So I had to do everything by myself. I kidnapped a bunch of criminals and that little idiot red fellow and locked him inside the house and uh, made him play a bunch of death games and I tricked the mouse into going into an abandoned factory playing some games also and guess what I managed to kill one of his friends really which one the little red idiot friend he decided to stay behind and sacrifice himself and guess what it was entirely nothing because I'm out of jail <laughs> so where is this going? What's the plan? Well, let me tell you. My plan is to bring every villain that hates my nephew back to life and take over the world. It's the genius plan ever. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, but we gotta find a way to bring them here without turning them into some infant like how you are. Yeah. I bet that doll has a magic spell to let us allow to see people's ghosts. Yeah, probably. 
So we need to get that book. Yeah. Um, everything all right back there? Oh, yeah, 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 everything's fine back here. Totally. Okay, it's just, uh, you got a, got a interesting monkey you got there. I'm just, uh, kind of concerned. Oh, you know, let's just say he's one of a kind. Okay. So, um, what are you two talking about back there? Killing people. The fuck? Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm pulling over. You guys are getting out. I ain't pulling up for this shit. Alright. God, I am... I'm not doing this crazy shit. You know what? I'm done, yeah. Okay. That's it. Get out of the car. That... Yeah, you can take your creepy monkey and everything and get out of my car. Whoa! Whoa! Who the hell do you think you are? I saw you sitting in the room. Jesus Christ, he looks freaking dead, Cody. <sighs> he looks like he, he's having an essential crisis, Mickey. Do you even know what the hell an essential crisis is? Because I, I, I feel like you don't know what it is, and you're supposed to be the smart one. Go, go talk to him. Why should I talk to him? He's your stepdad. He, yeah, but I call him Chef Luigi. I don't call him dad. <sighs> Mickey. Fine. Chef Luigi, can you... Can you please stop doing whatever the hell you're doing? I can't. I can't. And why not? Because I'm thinking about what you guys said. That my brother might be in danger. <sighs> Look. I'm just, it's a possibility, okay? We didn't say it might happen like 100%. So stop having a crisis and relax. <sighs> I, I can't, okay? Look, look, we, we can figure this out. We can figure this problem out and probably figure what the hell Donnie's plan is. But you need to calm down, okay? Your brother's gonna be fine. I can't. Look, you're worrying the others. You kind of just ran off and the others were worrying about you and they made me and Cody check on you. Look, we just want to know if you're okay and just come back with us and help help straight things out, okay? I, I can't. I'm just. I'm just gonna lay here for the next few hours. C come on, Chef Luigi. Come on. Just leave him be, okay? No, because there's no reason to have a crisis, okay? I get it. He's, he's worried about his brother, but he, there's a possibility he'll be fine, and there's a possibility he won't be fine. So he needs to stop worrying. I don't know what else to do, okay? This is this is a lot of shit to handle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, bros. Oh, God, what do you want, Nebbit? Nothing, bro. I just came to see what your losers are up to. Nothing. We're just having... Having a problem with Chef Luigi. Oh, what's wrong with him? Do you realize that his cooking is bad? No. Why would we say that? Because, bro, it's true. His food is bad. I mean, have you just tasted his pasta last night? Tasted way too salty. Well, he ain't wrong. Look, we're not talking about how bad his cooking is. He's having a crisis that his brother might be in danger. Really? That sounds totally gay, bruh. Look, okay. Look, I don't know. We were trying to get him out of this crisis or something, and he's not listening. Hmm. Maybe I can help, bruh. How can you help? I highly doubt you can help. No, bruh. I learned something from, like, military movies, and I learned something like this. Get yourself together, man! Get yourself together! You need a man up! Jesus Christ, Nebbit, what the hell are you doing? 
What I thought I thought this was like military. I just I just learned it from a military movie. Oh my god, Nabbit! Why? Like threatening him won't work. What? I wasn't threatening, bro. I was telling him to man up. There's a difference, bro. Uh, you know what? No, I actually, I actually kind of needed that. What? Yeah, I, I need the man up. I need to stop worrying and pull myself together. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Told you, bruh. Told you it would work. He just needed the man up. Yeah, yeah. I need to stop worrying about my brother and try to focus on this situation. So, come on. Let's, let's figure this problem out. There's no way that actually worked. Hell yeah, bruh, it did. Now you owe me 25 bucks. Wait, what? Yeah, you owe me 25 bucks because I helped. What? When did I say you? I owe you 25 bucks if this worked? I don't know, bro. I thought I, I earned something for helping. I'm not giving you shit. Come on, bro. I ain't doing it for free. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. You know what? If you're not paying me 25 bucks, then this problem is my problem, too. So come back here. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Say hello to the abandoned cathedral on the east mountainside of Turlock. Wait a minute, I thought we were going to the abandoned Linda Vista Community Hospital. Oh, that place? Nah. You see, those fools know exactly where that place is. But I found this place, luckily. And they don't know anything about it. So this will be our new base. Uh, I'm not so sure, sure about this. I mean, the hospital had a lot of stuff we could use. Mm, it's not that bad. Come on, come on, let me show you the inside. Uh, okay. Mm, this place looks questionable. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. The place does not look very good and barely has anything. Well, basically doesn't have anything at all. But trust me, once we have our plan up and running, we'll spin this place around and have a lot to do here. Whatever you say, uh, say, say, that plan you were talking about in the car before you killed the driver, is there more to that plan? <laughs> Funny you asked. There actually is. Okay, so what's more to the plan? Okay. You know the plan exactly. Bring back villains from the dead and find a way to help us see them in ghost form. As I was thinking of that plan while you were dead, I realized... It's not enough. Really, not enough. And I realized that my idiot of a nephew has rehabilitated some bad guys. Some, like a tie-wearing baby, some mutilated fox, and some doll. I was thinking, how about we kidnap them, and then brainwashed them to be evil brainwashed them to go back to their old routes and make them obey us Ooh, you know that's not a bad idea but how are we gonna pull this off like I'm an infant I don't think I have my strength hmm maybe we should test it out hmm. what can we use as a test dummy um hold on Did I hurt? What the fuck do you think? Why'd you hit me? I needed a test on me. <sighs> well, it hurt. So let's just say you probably have some strength. Okay. Are you sure? Can I hit you again? No! Okay. Oh, then. 
Let's capture ourselves some bad guys. Got it. <sighs> Another day being lonely. <sighs> you know, I wish I had a partner. I mean, I used to have Maxwell, but I haven't seen him in a while since the whole volcano incident. <sighs> no, don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. <sighs> what, huh? The hell was that? Oh, ho! I swear, if someone's breaking into my fucking lair. Word of God, whoever's breaking in, I'm gonna kick your freaking ass. Uh, well, I don't see anyone down here. God, maybe my loneliness is just getting to me. Maybe I'm just hearing shit. Wait, what the? <laughs> yeah, this can't be serious. A baby monkey? There's no way a baby monkey just broke in here. <laughs> a little peasant? Well, hello there, you little idiot. You look so... paranoid and... curious. What an odd thing to say to a freaking monkey. How'd you even get up here, little guy? <laughs> God, how long was I? Oh, uh, what? What? What's going on? Where am I? What the hell am I wearing? Hey, hey, wake up! What? 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 Are you wearing a smiley face mask? What? You're wearing one too. What? Where the hell are we? I don't know. Greetings, future followers. Welcome to the congregation. Get comfortable because you are going to have a good time. Ugh. Future followers? Congregation? What are you talking about? Why do you have us wearing these masks? Yeah. Well, on the bright side for me, at least mine has a breathing hole. Shut up. You shut up. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, Dollface. Answers will come. As for the mask, it's just part of the cult. It's sort of a falling thing to wear. And, uh, you are going to enjoy what I have to offer. You are going to join the congregation and help me destroy my nephew. It's gonna be fun. What, seriously? Do you honestly think we would want to join some stupid congregation of yours? Yeah, like seriously. Do you think we would be willing to join your congregation? <laughs> well, obviously not. Well, not yet exactly. Because I have a, I have a trick up my sleeve. And you are going to enjoy it. What? What do you mean, what? Uh, he has my voodoo spell book, which means we're all screwed! How are we screwed? Oh yes, it's going to be bad. Now then, time to use this brainwashing spell I found in the book. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Bruna Dua. Uh, I don't like what is he doing? Don't, don't listen to it. What? What's going on? Stop.
<sighs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Holy crap, it worked. Of course it worked. I used a spell from this freaking voodoo book. How else would it work? All right, now, now that we have our uh, minions, what now? <laughs> now, it's time to get the real party started. Oh, I like where this is going. Yeah. Aku, Dua, Dambala, give me the power I beg of you. Aku, Dua, Dambala. ought to be good. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too well. Jeez, look at the light show. Yeah, what a fucking beauty. Huh? Look. Yes! It's working! <laughs> God! I've never felt this good to me. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yes! I just love good comeback. Don't you? <laughs>...bring him back to purgatory, and I get to go back to the living world alive. Okay, but he also said I get something too. Whatever, dude, it's my life on the line, and I really want to come back to the living world alive. So, let's not waste any time, and go find some bad guys and send them back to purgatory. <sighs> this is gonna be a long journey, isn't it? Dude, come on! Come and come and come.